I suspect CCI. Yeah, as I was saying before, this is a very important question and it gets to really why I'm talking about this topic this morning. And that is at the end of the day, the average neurosurgeon isn't going to really have a good sense of this kind of craniocervical instability. They certainly know that craniocervical instability can occur in a massive trauma situation coming from the ER where someone, someone's head is basically falling off and they need emergent surgery or they're going to die. Outside of that, the average neurosurgeon isn't going to understand this kind of elective craniocervical instability and the disability it can cause. So if you're looking for a neurosurgeon to understand this, you don't have that many options. You've got Dr. Bolognese in the New York metro area. You've got Dr. Patel in South Carolina. You've got uh, Dr. Henderson in Maryland, Dr. Frank in Panama City, Florida. You've got uh, Dr. Gillette and Oliver in Barcelona. And that's it when it comes to neurosurgeons who will immediately recognize what's going on and what needs to be done. Uh, now, there may be some others out there on the margins who might be more understanding of what's happening, but that's the list where I know that if you walk into those offices and you've got CCI, they're gonna understand what it is and they're gonna immediately know what to do.